Thank you all. Welcome to my third class on Introduction to Trigonometry, Class 10, Chapter 8. Today I am going to discuss trigonometric identities. Let me take a right angle to triangle. Here you have a right angle to triangle ABC, right angle that B. Now let me consider angle C. Let the measure of this angle be theta. According to angle theta, AB is opposite side, BC is adjacent side and AC is the hypotenuse. Now by Pythagoras theorem, you can write AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Now let me divide this equation throughout by AC square, what do you get? That is AB square by AC square plus BC square by AC square is equal to AC square by AC square. Now, AB square by AC square, that you can write it as AB by AC whole square. Plus, similarly, BC square by AC square, how can you write? Yes, it is BC by AC the whole square and AC square by AC square which is equal to 1. Now look at the triangle. Here what is AB by AC? According to angle theta, AB by AC is sin theta. So this you can write it as sin theta square plus BC by AC which is adjacent side by hypotenuse which is equal to cos theta so it can be written, written as cos theta whole square is equal to 1. That is sin theta whole square you can write it as sin square theta plus cos theta whole square you can write it as cos square theta is equal to 1. This is the first item that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now you know that values of 30 degree, 45 degree and 60 degree. Now you check it. Sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree. What will you get? Sin 30 degree you know it is 1 by 2. So sin 30, sin square 30 degree is 1 by 2 whole square plus cos 30 you know it is root 3 by 2 and its square is root 3 by 2 the whole square. That is 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. Yes, it is 4 is common, 1 plus 3 is 4, which is equal to 1. So any values sin square theta plus cos square theta, you will get it as 1. Now if sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, what is sin square theta? You transpose cos square theta to the other side it is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So sin square theta you can write it as 1 minus cos square theta or sin theta you can write it as square root of 1 minus cos square theta. Similarly cos square theta you can write it as 1 minus sin square theta and cos theta you can write it as square root of 1 minus sin square theta. Now, if you divide AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square by AB square, what will you get? Let us see. That is AB square by AB square plus BC square by AB square is equal to AC square by AB square. Divide all the terms by AB square. Now AB square by AB square which is equal to 1 plus this you can write it as BC by AB the whole square is equal to here AC by AB the whole square. Or you transpose BC square by BC by AB the whole square to the other side 
you will get it as 1 is equal to AC by AB the whole square minus BC by AB the whole square or we can write it as AC by AB the whole square minus BC by AB the whole square is equal to 1. Now look at the figure. What is AC by AB? AC by AB is hypotenuse by opposite side according to angle theta. Opposite side by hypotenuse is sin theta. So it's reciprocal. What it will be? Yes, it is cosec theta. So this you can write it as cosec theta the whole square. Cosec theta the whole square minus BC by AB. AB by BC is tan theta. So BC by AB it is cot theta. So this you can write it as cot theta square is equal to 1. That is cos theta whole square you can write it as cos square theta minus cot theta whole square you can write it as cot square theta which is equal to 1. So this is the second equation. Cos square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. From this identity you can find out the value of cos square theta. What is cos square theta? Cos square theta you can write it as 1 plus cot square theta. Because minus cot square theta while transposing it will be plus cot square theta. If it is so, what is cos square theta? You transpose cos square theta to the other side and 1 to the LHS. So it will be cos square theta minus 1. So the identity is cos square theta minus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now, again, if you are dividing AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square by BC square. What will you get? Dividing each term by BC square, that this will be AB square by BC square plus BC square by BC square is equal to AC square by BC square. Divide all the term by BC square. Now, AB square by BC square, you can write it as AB by BC the whole square plus BC square by BC square, which is equal to 1. And this you can write it as AC by BC the whole square. Now, transpose AB by BC the whole square to the RHS, what will you get? That is AC by BC the whole square, that is in the RHS, minus AB by BC the whole square which is equal to 1. Now according to angle theta, what is AC by BC? AC is the hypotenuse, BC is the adjacent side. Adjacent side by hypotenuse is cos theta. So its reciprocal will be sec theta. So this you can write it as sec theta whole square minus AB by BC. AB by BC is opposite side by adjacent side. That is tan theta. So it is tan theta the whole square is equal to 1. Or this you can write it as sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. This is the third identity. From this you can find it out sec square theta. Here sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta and tan square theta you can write it as you transpose 1 to the LHS and tan square theta to the RHS you will get 6 square theta minus 1. By using these three identities let us solve some questions. Here is a question express the ratios cos a, tan a and sec a in terms of sin. Here the ratios are given in terms of angle a. So the first identity 
that you can write it as sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. Now we have to represent cos a in terms of sin. So cos square a you can write it as 1 minus sin square a that is cos a is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square a. Here you can see cos a in terms of sin. Similarly tan a you have to represent in terms of sin. You know what is tan a? Tan a you can write it as sin a by cos a. But cos a you can write it as square root of 1 minus sin square a. So this you can write it as sin a by square root of 1 minus sin square. So tan a also represented in terms of sin. Now you have to represent ck in terms of sin. You know ck is the reciprocal of cos a. So this you can write it as 1 by cos a and again cos a you can write it as square root of 1 minus sin square a. Here ck also we represented in terms of sin. Now look at the textbook questions. Here the first and second you have to represent the ratios in terms of cot a and c. Look at the question number 4. Here look at the third question. Ck plus tan a. Ck plus tan a into 1 minus sin. Here Ck tan a and all you can represent in terms of sin and cos. That means Ck is the reciprocal of cos. So it is 1 by cos a plus tan a you can write it as sin a by cos a into 1 minus sin. 1 by cos a plus sin a by cos a that is cos a you can take it as common denominator then the numerator will be 1 plus sin a into 1 minus sin. 1 plus sin a into 1 minus sin a that is a plus b into a minus b form it is 1 minus sin square a by cos a. You know 1 minus sin square a is equal to cos square a. So it is cos square a by cos a. Cos square a by cos a is cos a. So the correct option is d. In this way you, you can solve the other question also to simplify it and find out the correct option. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.